So unfortunately and sadly, people are still pirating games. Yes. So basically, one thing that Nintendo has been trying to do for the past year was basically to stop people from pirating games. It seems that Nintendo is still continuing to lose the war against this. So there's a new Mario and Luigi game coming out, and guess what? People are already playing the game online, leaking the game a month early, basically. And guess what? Nintendo lost the war again. Okay. And yeah, over the past month, I've been more critical of Nintendo, which I usually am not, but again, the fact that Nintendo has revealed like Zack crap and absolutely nothing to reveal. I, like, I get it. You know, maybe let's go wait for February to reveal the Switch 2 and maybe everything will get better and have a final detail direct for the Tell Switch games. But these people are, there are still people who are playing games for free instead of actually buying them. Okay, excuse me. And I won't be surprised if Nintendo takes down Ryujix next. Nintendo has taken down so many different emulators over the past year. Like, it's just crazy. Nintendo has basically destroyed that entire industry. And really, a lot of people use emulation to play games for free. So they don't have to actually use buy the actual games. Okay. And, they, and the emulation people can cry wolf all they want. But it's just the truth. Emulation is piracy. Okay. Unless he, unless he actually owned the game, that would be different. Like if, like I know a lot of YouTubers who actually they still own the game, but they have, but they use it for so they could play on YouTube because it's easier to stream a game that way. But I think if Nintendo wants people to not use emulation in their YouTube videos, they have to make it on the Switch too, so people could actually play games on the Switch. For any amount of time, if it's a live stream, and have actual tools so people could use apps like Twitch, YouTube, on the Switch. There is no excuse that Nintendo should not be doing this, okay? Considering the fact that YouTubers bring Nintendo a lot of money, okay? That YouTubers and streamers, as Nintendo works or not, bring Nintendo a lot of money and a lot of awareness. The reason why the Switch is so successful is because a lot of influencers and a lot of Nintendo YouTubers have grown massively over the past five years. Okay, a lot of Nintendo YouTubers have grown massively and grown hugely in the past five years. There are several without even in the millions of subscribers. There are over a million subscribers. Several Pokemon YouTube channels, several Nintendo channels have reached over the million subscribers. Nintendo needs to acknowledge this. And allow people to upload the games, record the games on the, the actual hardware, and upload it to YouTube. So people don't have to go to these, you know, strange emulation sites to play their games. But again, I'm not Nintendo who makes these strange decisions and strange choices. Says, but I think it'll be better if people are able to record exactly on the Switch 2 without having to have any external devices as well. That's about this video here. Goodbye.